Okay, well, we looked at the fuel tank floor install yesterday right here, and uh, we discussed about the placement and alignment of that uh, in, in regards to the firewall, and in this case with the right thrust and why this has angled sides on it to uh, make the alignment proper. Um, as you can see, I've already mounted the uh, uh, engine mount here, but it's not really on right. I just put it on with two bolts here on, on each side to uh, just for temporary because I need to do for some referencing for the fuel tank install, which we'll get to later. Before we get to any of this, though, I'd like to just kind of touch base on one little helpful technique that you might want to uh, look into doing and that's using a, uh, a method for bending the brass tubing that comes with a fuel tank kit. As you can see here, you get everything you need to make uh, the fuel tank complete. Um, one of the biggest headaches that people deal with when making fuel tanks is the brass tubing. Now it has a very thin wall which makes it susceptible to kinking if you try to bend it at all. And in this case, you do need to bend it because with a fuel tank, when you put the tubing in, it has to be at a certain angle and you have to bend it and curve it. Well, to do that, you can either buy a jig, which makes it possible to curve tubing, and they do sell little kits for small tubing as well, um, or you can use a method that I like to, to uh, incorporate, and that's just using um, very fine sand. And the sand, what it does, is it fills up the tube, and you can get this sand at any craft hobby store. The sand you use to fill up the tube. And what that's going to do is allow you to uh, fill the internal area of the tube. And the reason we want to do that is because when you fill this up with sand, it'll it'll basically turn this into a solid tube and the reason that's good is because when you bend it well it's not going to be able to crush that sand and kink in that spot you want to want to curve it at so what you end up with is a method to curve your tubing successfully without kinking it and uh, that is going to save you a lot of time and for effort uh, don't be worried if you think that only these two pieces of tubing are not enough. You can always go to a craft hobby store and just buy yourself another length of tubing and it's pretty inexpensive. It doesn't cost more than 75 cents or something. But you can see it gives you plenty of tubing to work with. Alright, well I hope uh, this little tip will give you some uh, some ideas about preparing for in fuel tank install. This is Carl Baer with HowToMakeRCAirplanes.com, and uh, thanks so much for, for watching. Uh, until the next video, thanks again. Bye.